Okay, so this problem is called electronics shops, and so you can read it. But uh, there is a person called Monica, and needs to buy one keyboard and one drive, and she has a limited budget. And she asks us a question: Can you find the maximum number, uh, the maximum price I can spend below my budget, which I can buy the a keyboard, a keyboard and driver? So. So I can I think let me just repeat it one more time. So we need to find uh, the summation from one keyboard and from one driver that is the maximum below her budget. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's uh, that's a good uh, sum up for for all this um, text. And for example, here they give us uh, these samples. So 10 is her budget, and 2 is the number of keyboards, 3 number of drivers. So we have two keyboards. The, same, the first one is of price 3, and this one is from price 1. And this is the driver's prices. So the maximum uh, amount she can spend below her budget is 9, which is the, this, key, this driver with 8 price and this keyboard with, with price 1. And th this is the s example 2. So we have the budget is five. We have uh, one keyboard and one driver, and uh, as you can see, she can't buy both of them. So we just output minus one, since uh, if if she only bought a keyboard, this against our requirements, she need to buy both a keyboard and a driver, and they both. If you sum these two, they are uh, bigger than her budget. Uh, so I think I'm. Let me just go to VS Code. I'm pretty sure there is a really smart way to do it, but uh, I'll just brute force it. Force it. I'll, so I will find all the possible uh, options she can have and find the maximum value from them. So I would, uh, I would create an array called all options, and I will loop three through the keyboards. I'll call it K. And for each keyboard, try, I will then loop for each driver inside of it. So, drivers for each. And I'll call the variable T in the callback. So, if K plus uh, D is less than or equal to the budget, uh, just push it inside the options so it's a valid option we can have this we, we can buy these combinations uh, so k okay, plus d and at the end return if all if we don't if we don't have any options so the next is zero we just return uh, minus one if we have options so sorry this is a question mark if we have options find the max value from the array and you can do that with the split operators uh, operator um, I, 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 just like I said, I think there is a smart way to find this, uh, except for finding all the combinations where this condition applies. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I'll just let me put it here. Everything should be fine. Okay, I think this is 15 points, which is nice. Come on. Yeah, okay, everything is fine. Let me read it. 